<laughs> this might be risky, but <laughs> it's just the truth. Yeah. You guys know that I live in Bogolovi. So when I'm going out, it's mostly on Bandali. Mm. As soon as I find out that a bar is Eritrean owned, I'm less like, not less willing to go there, but I, I want to go to all the Ugandan owned spots more than I want to go to the Eritrean owned ones. Mm. For example, on Bandali, I go to Alchemist, I go to Silo. Mm. All the other places on Bandali mm. are owned by Eritrean. Mm. I fe- it feels funny to me going to all these other guys, yet I can get the same thing from a Uganda. You know that's what I mean? fair. Do they so play the music we like? They are. Oh, <laughs> hey. they, they, they go, go crazy, crazy bro. bro. Like they, <laughs> they have mastered mm. that bizo. Okay. They know how to do that business, bro. But yet I still feel that like it's almost my responsibility mm, to, to patronize a Uganda. Yeah. But is that not also kind of like xenophobic yeah, in a way? No. See, that's boo boo. That's boo boo. <laughs> what is yeah, it's called boo boo, man? <laughs> that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Has your Spotify ever gotten used up, like the subscription? Yes. There is this car voice which comes. Enjoying like our free experience yeah. so far. <laughs> yeah. I do feel Working like I, I, I kind of feel free. a certain way about that thing. Ah, that can, that can, that can, yeah. I, like free Spotify? You know what I can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I it remember, has but ads. like my thing is an auto <laughs> renew, ads, you know? so yeah. <laughs> to me, it's similar to like you know when you visit someone's place and you're like, yeah, hey, enjoying my free food, eh? Yeah, <laughs> 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 that's how I feel, bro. Works, works, works. <laughs> I remember I used to the girl that I used to talk to had like she had free Spotify for a while, man. So it always mm. used to like kill the vibe a bit. Yeah, I won't lie. Okay. There's a girl okay. I was also talking to, and I told her, man, let me just pay for your thing. She jumped. She stayed with that free hey. spot. Dig it. Dig it, dig it. Bruh, I've been, uh, ever since my sister's function, I've been getting, like, a lot of marriage advice, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> you won't believe it, man. How? How, how, how? Ever, like, as soon as guys are done congratulating me on my sister getting married, mm. Immediately they go to man. Now it's time, man. <laughs> so make sure you do this and do this. Make sure you don't pick like this. Pick like this. I kid you not, bro. Like on the day itself, yeah. At least ten people gave me advice, man. Like, on like general advice, yeah. Like advice on marriage, bro. In particular, bro. I won't lie on to marriage, you. bro. We might have had the same weekend mm. <laughs> because first, are, are we like marriage age? That's my question. We are, bro. We are, we are, but I mean, we're not even and close. But at know. least, like, <laughs> at least in like Uganda, Kampala, in this society, yeah, I think they're like very much standard. like marriage age, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at our age, our parents were getting married, bro. They were married already, bro. yeah, they were married. I won't lie, uh, this weekend I went for um, a family, okay, so my uncle's in laws were visiting mm. and they invited us, like. The entire extended family, and you know, man, the stand family was also like 50 guys. So, um, I happen to be one of the eldest cousins because my mom is also one of the eldest siblings. The number of guys who asked me for my girlfriend, stroke wife, and guys started fundraising from there, man. Guys were like, Man, may I have a cow? <laughs> my thing is, if, if you have a girlfriend, mm. does it make the pressure more or less? Like, let's say you were there with your girlfriend. Uh, Do they want you guys to get married sooner or later? Um, hmm. Sooner. Yeah. Sooner. Yeah. Sooner. Because yeah. the way these guys were jazzing. Like, these guys real started jazzing me. Yo, you don't need money for the wedding. Yeah, because I think they are, <laughs> I think that they are getting a bit tired of hearing that excuse. Mm. Like, I'm sure every young man that they ask, why aren't you getting married, they'll be like, I don't have money. Or that's I'm looking that's for literally money. the first excuse that's what I used to So I think our <laughs> families at this point are just like, man, nah. The guys you guys should just marry. You know, bro. it wasn't even up for debate because like when one of my uncles was talking to my mom, mm. he literally, my mom was, you know, bargaining for me like, ah, he's still young. He, he has to wait. And the guy was like, waiting is okay. The only given here is that he's getting married. I was like, eh, it's not even for debating, bro. It's so strange, bro, because like, Guys will tell me, it's now time, like, it's time for you to start planning and, like, you need to find someone. They'll ask me, like, have you found someone? Or yeah. But then at, in the same breath, they'll be like, but don't rush. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. They are like, hold on, but yeah, there's no rush. No, no one's chasing you. Yeah, what, 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 take your time, find the right yeah. person. Uh-huh. Yeah. But at the same time, make sure this, 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 this. Make sure she's like this, she's like that, she's like this. But I won't tell you how many cows I got from that thing, man. Yeah, yeah. And guys are like, if you want us to go with you, we'll go with you. The wedding yeah. is not the problem. Just get the right person. Are you feeling that pressure? Not really. You know, all of this is when Chelsea is playing Man City. So yeah, like, you are not football. born it at all, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's n- I'm not feeling the pressure from family. Mm. If anything, if there's any pressure at all, it's more from, like, myself. Mm-hmm. And not, like, to get married, but, like, to be a better person to get married. Does that make to sense? Get married, too. Yeah, 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 to yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's, uh, I don't feel the pressure. It's just... Now the next family function, I have to come up with a new tactic to avoid the question. Guys, ask me why. Who is she? I'm like, man. But you know, yeah. I, I feel like it's such like, uh, I feel like it doesn't make the most sense in the world to me for guys to be on some, and, guys, and for girls and guys, to be fair, to be on some, I need to be the best possible partner that mm. I can be for someone. Before I get into like a committed relationship, yet like, how are you going to be a a good partner if you're not a partner? You know That's I mean? a good question. That's like, a how are you question. going to become the best footballer in the world if, if you're, you're not, not playing, playing football? football? <laughs> 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 like, you have to be in that yeah, thing yeah. in order for you to make the mistakes that will make you a better partner. I'll tell you this: I can already see some shortcomings. Mm. Yeah, mm. but not all of them. Yeah, I feel like the biggest shortcoming is. Failing to get into the relationship, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the biggest one. Bro. Nah, nah. Okay, yeah, true. Yeah, it's the biggest, but yeah. it's not the only one. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, for example, I know, like, if if I date a texter, man, I don't know, bro. I feel like you're a texter, Loki. I feel like you're a community. If I want bro. to, yeah. so I feel like that one I can I can do it. Yeah, but also, if it's your girl, bro, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have, have to. to. You you have to. <laughs> you yeah. can do. It's you have to communicate <laughs> with your girl, bro. <laughs> It's just, man, like, now those will be minute things. But then also the issue is, I can't say I'm a good text until I was dating. Mm. But the last talking thing I had, I was always on my text phone, thing, bro. bro. You text in the middle <laughs> of the pod, bro. <laughs> We're taking a break. Quick text to your show. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and it would be like live update. Yeah. Like a football match. We're on like, a break, yeah. man. We're doing the pod. We're yeah. on a break now. <laughs> <laughs> Send a snap real it's quick. It's too funny. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Also, I wonder how long that lasts when you're in a relationship. It lasts as long as it needs to, bro. And then, like, you guys kind of evolve together, I think. Mm. Yeah, like, there's probably different stages, different phases. Yeah, and like, would it be one of those things where, like, after the pod, say, say, like, we go for, like, an after pod thing. Mm. Like, hey, man, this pod was good, let's go, like, eat. Mm-hmm. And then I don't update. Now that's like a thing, bro. It might be a fight. Yeah, yeah. Like then it might be like, yo, I, I'm not trying to update you on everything. <laughs> then you guys stop like with the update. This one was shit. with the boys. Yeah. Now what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. When the partner comes. Yeah. like you have to play the game, bro. You have to play the game. But Otherwise, you won't get game, any better. We're not even in yeah, training. You can't yeah. not be in that <laughs> game, bro. You're injured, man. You have a long-term <laughs> injury, bro. <laughs> it's just, you know? Uh, nah, yeah. Anyway, man. Uh, uh, Welcome back to our Mob Jazz podcast. Welcome I'm Melvin. Back. Sydney. Uh, today it's just the two of us. Um, I think our Wendy is not yet here. Casper. The, re- the, the weather is somehow. Yeah, the weather yeah. is. Yeah, it rained. It rained right before we started podding. I won't lie, even when I was coming, the weather was mixing me. Mm. It was raining mm. while shining at home. So when you told me I'm going to be here by five, and then at four. 58. It started raining here. I was like, it's not, it's not going to be here by five, bro. <laughs> bro, you should have seen me like yeah. I walked out of the house in a jumper. Yeah. I went back inside. I changed to like a cold. light shirt because yeah, of yeah, the sun. Yeah. I walk out. It starts, it starts raining again. Then I was like, you know what? This is in the middle. Like, whatever happens, happens. I'll, if I die, I die. Mm. But yeah, the weather today has been funny. Yeah. And my sinuses have been kubaying me for like the last three days. You can imagine. It's been raining. You can imagine. So yeah. You can imagine. Bruh. Uh, before we get into the pod, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing to the Patreon. Um, yeah, man, we love you guys. There was this a YouTube comment that complained. 
what do about you say? that? Apparently, we always uh, talk about the patron and the price without telling them how to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you look in our description, there's a link to our Patreon. Um, so you just click that link; it will take you to our Patreon page. Scroll and hit join. You'll see that we only have one tier. It's a five dollar tier. Um, that's five dollars a month, and you'll have access to all of our Patreon content um, and two podcasts a week. Yeah. So last week we gave everyone two podcasts. This week I think we'll just be giving guys this pod. Yeah. Um, yeah, but if you want to watch bonus content, early access to our other content, um, and yeah. even content from back in the day, man. Yeah, bro. Oh when we weren't on. The catalog Lit. is there's a lot yeah. of there's a lot of pods, guys. The last three months worth of pods, of two pods a week. Like the last three months, sixty pods, bro. Hella pods. Yeah. Bro. And also, the mobile money thing, because I've received a bunch of questions about mm. it. Mm-mm. Tough. We yeah. Lie. We tried to figure it out. Uh, apparently, you have like a, you have to have like an Airtel or MTN Visa card. Yeah, but uh, uh, MTN and Airtel had like a Mastercard thing that they used to. They used to do so. A lot of people used to subscribe to our Patreon using that Mastercard, but I don't know if that's still enabled. I doubt it is. Yeah. So you would have to use a Visa card. So, guys, who don't have Visa cards, man. Sorry. I know. I tell you, bro. Yeah. I don't know what to tell Fair, you. That cav- you remember that video we made about how to mm, that mm, mm. each week it has views. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been wanting to take that thing down. There's <laughs> <laughs> uh, something about it that pisses me off. Like seeing that. Looks like an ad now. Yeah. It pisses me off. Uh, I don't like it either. Um. Yeah, man. But for that moment, mobile money is not an option. Um. I don't know if we'll be ever be able to fix that, but maybe we'll find another way to give guys like subscriber-only content where mobile money can be the payment option. But until then. Um, yeah, we're constrained to Patreon because Patreon is like when you guys subscribe, you'll see it's such a fire app, bro. Like, mm. it's very it's built for creators to like monetize their following, bro. Yeah. So, it's they've like thought of everything except mobile money and like M-Pesa and that other yeah. shit. You know, and know. just so you know, we are very interactive on Patreon, bro. that's true, very so. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's come, true, come, come, five dollars a month, subscribe. Um, yeah, tap in. Um, Bro, how are you feeling, man? Where's your head at? How's your weekend? Well, the weekend the weekend was actually calm. Uh, Friday, we're in the same place. <laughs> mm. uh, started the Premier League. Mm. Um, went to Meraki. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. One of our guys' birthdays. Um, it was nice, man. It was, it was nice. It was, it was, it was. Uh, went to Silo after for... Meraki has, Meraki has been a bit light on the things, bro. This past, I guess... I know it was a week where you were. Like ah, me it was calm, like I That's enjoyed. It was calm. Yeah, yeah. This time it was a bit light. Um, you know, the actual thing is this weekend. Oh, you're right. It yeah, this this one was a birthday. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, fair, fair. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. So we'll see this weekend. On Friday, I won't even be there, man. I won't even be there. Yeah, no, no, no. The actual thing is on the thirtieth, bro. No, it's on the thirtieth Friday. This Friday is not the thirtieth. Oh. It's the next Friday. Ah. Uh. I thought it was this Friday. Uh, I think it's the next one. Okay, which day is 31st? Because that's a Jameson thing. Jameson is 31st? I think. I'm not sure. That's anymore. next week. Mm. That's next week. So right, it's, cool. it's Miraki then Jameson. I feel like... That's going to be a fun weekend. Bro. Yeah. If, it's, if it's that weekend. weekend. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, it was... Man, it was a good time. I, I, silo was also good. Yo, how are you answering? Uh, how was your weekend before you answer how you are? Oh, you, you asked how, yeah. how you are? How, how, how was your you weekend? Yeah, how are you oh, first? How am I doing? Okay. How is it first? <laughs> That's key. I'm Kawa, man. Outside of my side, says I'm actually Kawa. Um, work has been... Work has been okay. Nothing too much happening. A bit busy, but not like the past few weeks. So, like, it's calm. Okay. Um, I hate that, like, nowadays when someone asks me how I am, to work. Yeah, work is calm, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, capitalism, bro. It's, it's, it's so us, bad, bro. Capitalism. Is yeah, I've not been seeing uh, as many friends as I should, man. Yeah. Or like social life. Not, it's just work nowadays. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's. I don't even know to think about it because, like, that's also what it used to be like. Mm. But yeah, I don't like the, it. The 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 places in the world that have like the longest. What do you call it? Lifespan mm. are like the societies where they don't compromise 
they are as if communal lives mm. for their work life. So which place instead of this? like instead of work life balance, like their lives are way more tilted towards like life. society, yeah. Life, yeah, like being with their buddies, oh, with their families, than with <coughs> staying at work, bro. I can see that. I think that's why it's also like retirement is highly encouraged. Where? At like an, uh, in some societies at an earlier age. And those guys they don't even retire, bro. M- they keep working, but then work is like from like eleven to like three, bro. Fair. You know what I mean? Like work is not the point. Mm. Work is something to do. I do it because I want to do it, but I'm not like living to make money type. Thing. I know that's why also the Scandinavian countries now have like the three day weekends. Mm. Like you work Monday to Thursday, mm. Friday is either half day or optional. Yeah. Something like that. Every Honestly, time. bro, I think Friday was optional. They would yeah. never see me. Ever. Never. No, I think that, like, I see, I know that this living outside the Matrix shit is kind of used as, like, a joke. But honestly, man, that has to be the goal, bro. Yeah, eventually. Like, eventually. Honestly, bro, like, I'm not even working for retirement. I'm just working to be able to work on my own terms, bro. And they say that that's, like, a very Gen Z thing. But honestly, bro, like, bro. I cannot... I'm not trying to work just to work, bro. You know, they said I sleep at like 4 p.m. Uh, I mean, 4 a.m. Mm. Given, I woke up at like midday. Mm. But like still, yeah. like sleeping when your buddies, I mean, being awake when your buddies are sleeping, yeah. well, I just don't like it, man. Yeah. I but really you really don't. manage, bro. Like, I don't know how you still manage to have like a, an active social life, bro. What you still do. <laughs> it's dwindling, man. I won't yeah. lie. <laughs> Yeah, manage. Anyway, go ahead, bro. Yeah, anyway, that's how I've been, man. I'm um, speaking of the weekend. The past three weekends, I've run into three different patrons. Hard, 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 hard. Which is cool, man, because this Friday I ran into a patron. Patrons who have been on the pod or no? Oh, they're like they're like I know you. I'm a patron. I'm a patron. Hard. Yeah. Hard. Uh, that that was at Silo on Friday, Saturday. I have. I told you one of my friends was leaving the country, so on the way there, I passed by Legends for the international thingy league, I and I ran into another guy. And this uh, guy took me to his car and showed me the hat, man. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember shot at him. Yeah, I think uh, I know who that is. I yeah, probably just yeah, don't want to know change know. names on the pod. Okay, yeah. yeah. But like, I was like, ah, this is cool, I think man. I met him at the last I said, like, mm, must yeah. must be the one. Mm. And I, I was like, damn. People actually be, bro. I yeah. feel like you're about to enter like the. I feel like you're the one who has not been getting like the, what do you call it, like the type of attention that me and and Jesse were getting before, because you are behind the camera. Mm. Now you're in front of the camera, like you're the new face that everyone's going to be like, "Hey, man, the pod." And the funny thing is, is you, it used to happen before. As oh, I remember, <laughs> I remember, I remember. I remember yeah. And now I'm just like, hey, damn, yeah, it's about to happen again. Yeah. Yeah. Like the next Jameson is going to be different for me. Like I feel like you are enjoying the anonymity, bro. Like and guys would maybe hear your laugh or hear your voice and be yeah. like, sound familiar, man. But I now they'll see you. where guys are jazzing about the pod, and I'm just smiling. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, keep jazzing your time, bro. Damn, be your time. Anyway, just know, yeah, that that's, that was Saturday. Um, Sunday was a family thing. So it was it was really laid back weekend. Like I wasn't outside, outside, more or less like with people, mm. but also mainly because I just didn't want to see my emails, bro. Yeah, that. So yeah, I hear that. I hear yeah. That. I hear that. They said they went for a movie. Um, what did you watch? Alien Romulus. Those movies, the Alien movies, just keep getting worse and worse. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> not what I was expecting. Bro. This movie was ah, uh, it was so ass, man. Uh, but yeah. That, that has been my. I'm, I'm tired of going to the cinema. You know what I really movies. want to watch uh-huh. is um, a quiet place. Day one. Uh, day one. I remember you guys saying it wasn't good. No, no, no. I didn't say it wasn't good. Oh. I said it wasn't a cinema movie. Like, of course, you're not a cinema guy, mm. but like, it's. Yeah, I want to watch it from home. Yeah, in it's, bed. It's a hard to rank movie because, yeah. like, it's not like a quiet place. Like that. Okay. Yeah, it's not. It's the same universe, but not the same story. Doesn't make sense. Yes. Like the thing happens, but you don't see Lupita. A in different like the first city, one. Exactly. different like Mo- cast. Same city, but like different cast. Different cast. Okay. Okay, so okay. of course it's Lupita and that guy from Stranger Things. I keep forgetting his name. Mm. Yeah, but it's a good movie. If I were to rank it, it's like a six point five seven, okay. and that's a good movie. That's a decent movie. Yeah. Movie. So like, watch it. 
watch okay. it, watch it, watch it. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. Watch Twisters as well. Yeah, I'll watch that as well. I Did you watch it? I will watch it. I haven't mm. watched it. Mm. I haven't watched it. Um, okay, dope, 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 dope. Yeah. Wanted to watch Borderlands. I saw the rating, bro. Terrible. Three out of ten. Mm. And because I like the games, um, and because Kevin Hart is in the movie, I was like, yeah, let's check. When I saw three out of ten, I was like, Mm-mm. I'll watch it. This See one is those not guys also I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, not in the cinema. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, watch it, watch it, watch it. I saw the trailer. I'm not expecting much. But sometimes you got, you need a movie like that, bro. Where you're not expecting much and you don't get much. That was Beekeeper. I didn't expect much and I enjoyed it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you guys psyched me on nah. like, <laughs> There's a guy in the comments who was like, someone finally said it. Beekeeper yeah. was ass. That movie was trash, bro. Eh, guys, guys plummy. But I should have known. I should have known. Man. Nah, fair. It was like one of those last hitmans. You know those hitmans with, that, with the other guy? <laughs> the knockoff hitman. It was yeah. like those ones, bro. Uh, nah, I won't lie. Me, my sentiment of that movie is still the same. Yeah. Like it's... It's cool. Yeah. Sometimes, that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes you just need like... Maybe Borderlands is one of those. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Any. Um, yeah, bro. My weekend. I actually forgot that we even did all that on Friday. But Friday definitely like set the pace for the weekend. Um... We were here for Fifi's um, set, Acoustic Night. It was dope. Every Fire time I post set. Fifi, I get the most, like, as if, like, interaction with that Acoustic Same. Night thing. Like, guys are like, bro, where is this? What's this? Da, 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 da. The chick was like, um, why don't you ever f- invite me for those sofa things? I was like, it's yeah. not sofa. Yeah. Yeah. Guys be saying expressions. <laughs> um, anyway, man. So, Fifi's thing was dope. After Fifi's, we passed by Miraki. Um, for one of our boys, like, birthdays. Um, it was cool. Uh, me, really, I was there to watch the United game. I don't know. Fair. I literally just hugged that guy, happy birthday, then went to watch the United game. I watched it with your boys as well. Yeah, Fellow a bunch United of United guys. Games, yeah. um, decent game. We'll get into that in the MJPL segment. Um, but United won, that's the point. So after the United game, I was tempted. Like, you know when a night has the makings of just, like, <laughs> United just won... Like yeah, you're, like you're already kind of like lit because we're sipping Jameson while we're recording. Um, so I I was definitely like itching to go to Silo, but I was tired, bro. Yeah. Like I was tired. I'd been tired all week, so I wasn't going to let the booze now psych me. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. suddenly yeah. I'm coming. <laughs> Saturday nah, you'd have nah, been nah, 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 bed nah, rotting, nah, nah, bro. Yeah. So got home early, like freshened up, got in bed. Um. I had an early night. Next day, um, bro. Honestly, next day I was basically just in bed again. Most Saturday. of the day, yeah. That's been like a. I did something Saturday <laughs> morning. I think I just can't remember. I think I went for a walk on Saturday morning. Mm. Yeah, me and me and Casper uh, went for a walk on Saturday morning. Oh, how is um, she now? Oh, she's good. She's good. She's good. She's good. Uh, went for a walk Saturday morning. Um, came back to the crib. Had an edible for the first time in a while, bro. And then just vibed out for the rest of the day. Um, I'm catching up on Top Boy. I have two episodes left. But like... You never finished it? I never finished the Is last it? Is it? No, I never did. Yeah. Okay, um, Top Boy versus Supercell. Ah, uh, Top Boy. Top Boy. Clear. Fair. Clear yeah. Top Boy. Yeah. Um, yeah, but catching up on Top Boy... Um, I listened to some music. We're going to talk about that Ashake album in a minute. When I'm done with this review, I'll talk about that Ashake album, bro. Um, Damn. Listen to that Ashake I saw it album. In the topics. Yeah. And I knew I was missing. Like, I should yeah. have come listening to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, you just me. Um, yeah, man. I just had like a nice, really nice day, bro. Nice day. Premier League. I watched Premier League football for that weekend. <laughs> all the kickoffs. Yeah, all of, bro. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> All of them, bro. <laughs> uh, Sunday was kind of similar. I ran some errands with my dad in the morning. Um, we're preparing for my sisters. Kuhinji are now, so we're looking at venues, da-da-da. Mm. Um, yeah, then came home and just did the same shit, bro. Um, just ate and just chow, man, for, for the rest of Sunday. Had, like, a meeting on our, on our block. Um, it was dope just getting to know everyone in the community. You know, like, when you've lived... In a flat for as long as I have, bro, like, you keep seeing shit changing. So even, like, the re- other residents in the flats keep changing. So if you don't have these meetings, you never know the guys who are living around you. So this was our first meeting in, like, like five years, bro. 
Yeah. To yeah. be fair, I also so, didn't know like a bunch of guys. I didn't know there. guys' names. Like guys <laughs> were saying, I've been on this block for five years. I was like, five you? years? <laughs> like I just started seeing you the other day. Yeah. The guys I had never seen. Um, so yeah, man, it was uh, it was interesting. It was an interesting weekend. Um, yeah, the week has started off on a, on a good note. Court work is done, so... So now you're back, back, back. Like, I have yeah. so many court, court cases this week, bro. Um, okay, Windek has arrived. Uh, yeah, man, so... Not a bad weekend, bro. Not a bad weekend. It's not looking like a bad week, but today I had court in the morning, and I'm just so tired, bro, like... But you know when you called me on the phone and you were still like talking to someone else, I was like, how yeah, busy are you? I'm leaving the office, guys are coming behind me, chasing <laughs> me, saying this thing, that. Yeah. Um, yeah, bro, but we're here, man. We're here, we're here. Let's see what, uh, let's see what the week is saying. Fair, fair. It's when Dick Man just arrived. I don't know if he, he's ready to yeah, tell still us. Panting, he's still man. cold, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, bro. How was your weekend? How are you feeling, bro? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Actually, I had a story for you. Oh, just, bro. Just, just, yeah. just, just, just. I actually discovered it on a Sunday. You know, like, my neighbors think I'm a scammer. What? My neighbors. Why? You know, there's this one thing that I do. You know, like, when I'm always indoors. And the fact that they never see me waking up in the morning going to work. Yeah. Yeah, so... Like Yahoo funny. boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been so big on online shopping, so they be seeing you like going like uh, fetching the package and all that shit. What they are like, ah, this guy here yeah. robbing some <laughs> white people. <laughs> He's on Facebook, bro. <laughs> He's a Ghanaian prince. And the way that our apartment block is like designed, guys can see you from their windows as you're going upstairs. Yeah. There is this chick. She's like the place caretaker and all that jazz. So sometimes guys from there, they can hire her to help them with the laundry. So this time around, I got her and she was helping me out. And then I came down because Kara wasn't on. But I'm jazzing, jazzing, jazzing. She's like, wait, guess what? Guys here think you're a scammer. Damn. Like, what? What do they call a scammer? What do guys call a scammer? Well, of course, a scammer in Luganda. Omubi. Omufere. Omufere. Guess it's yeah. Omufere. Yeah, <laughs> Co- like computer scammers, these guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Yahoo boys and all yeah, that. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. Because I also, I also always leave home in the evening. So the other day I was leaving home and then the stage guys were like, but boss. <laughs> when do you work? <laughs> it's 7 p.m. Yeah, you do, you yeah. do. Because yeah. I go when they're leaving mm. and by the time I return, they're not there. Yeah. And you know, yeah. there's a certain look that a guy who like, just does it was like a waste man who doesn't work for him. He just goes to turn up in the evening. It's a look that that guy has. Mm. So if guys see you coming out of a house at seven, but you look <laughs> like you work, <laughs> like you look like your car work. Yeah, it's like what is this guy? Doing? I don't even when I'm coming here for that pod. The way I leave home, like yeah. it's so normal. Yeah. I don't even look like I'm yeah. going anywhere. Yeah. I remember we had a whole conversation about this community thing and first two condos, like th- those ones definitely. But even neighborhoods, man. Guys need to know, need to know man. bro. Like, you know who your neighbor is. You can't be alone forever, man. Something will happen. And guys will be like, as we didn't know him. Mm. Just de- I know you want to know if you, like, if you need to stay away from a guy, man. Yeah. Because that guy is not clever. That guy is on the city, bro. Me I like, like a mufere. You need to man. be like, man. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> fair, man. that's the truth. Or oh, at least I need to like approach you like I'm afraid. I'm not going to give you like my laptop but unlock for me. Or, okay, mm. well, my email is nah. <laughs> you know, there's I mean? always that one thing about teachers are always like, man, I gave yeah. that guy my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, disappeared. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, man. yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. But your weekend was kawa though. Yeah, it was a normal weekend. Yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good. Yeah, bro. Before we even go further, there's a guy you cooked me in the comments. Man. Hey. This is that comment. What did he say? <laughs> How did this say? guy said, man, we've come from eye candy to Chisido. Yeah, I saw that. That shit killed me. <laughs> I've died. <laughs> I saw that thing like 2 a.m. Eye candy is bro. Paul's an eye candy, bro. I think he meant like Daphne. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a string of things that you know. This guy was pressed. He's like, man, screw that. Like, That's so funny, <laughs> bro. That is too funny. Uh-uh. Uh anyway. okay man. Topics, topics, topics. Where do we begin? Uh should we start with Sasha K album? Yeah. yeah, I yeah, it up. yeah. Bro. Uh so this weekend my favorite way to my favorite way to listen to music. I think I've said this on a pod before. What for us? It's it crazy. 
It's time, man. Just let it, just let it breathe. It might be from the, might be traumatized from the. Press all the buttons. The volume, volume up, volume down, and the power thingy. Uh huh. Bruh. So my favorite way to listen to music, for the first time, is when I'm a bit high, bro. Um. So. Whenever I listen to an album for the first time in that state, I feel kind of like, like privileged. Like I feel like I'm going to hear every, every interesting thing that they try to do with this music. I'll be able to hear lossless it. audio. Yeah, yeah. So I listened to such a album. I approached it with like, honestly, low expectations. Not because I don't read Ashake, but because I hadn't heard anything. Wait, before we go far, is it the one with that active song? Yes, that's the one. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, I hadn't heard anything. Like no one had, I'd seen Magic. I told me about it, mm. but besides that, bro, like I didn't really. Aside from Ashake's stands, I didn't see anyone else post the album, and maybe I've not been outside like that. But I hadn't had them playing anything from the album. Well, at least I thought I hadn't. Yeah. Um. So I started listening to the album, and bro, from the very first song, bro, the amount of like just clever shit that this guy was doing bro with every single beat on that album man Mm. every single like flow that he has on that album bro they are all so clever so different from anything that any of these other guys are doing man. yeah i saw comments about guys saying that he had uh diversified nah he did he did because you know on his last album a lot of songs were very similar yeah the the quiet thing yeah it was like an ashake type song yeah on the first album, first album is cold. Second album was yeah, it was like cool. We've had this before. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. Not a bad album though, mm. but just cool. Mm. This album, man, Crazy. He, like he really stepped out of like the the mold with this album. But like I feel like he was he was very intentional about trying to make a different album than anyone had ever had. It's almost like with every beat, they would be trying to make something normal, and he'd be like, nah. Mm. Do this here and do and you know when you're uh, when you're high, certain shit just if something surprising happens with a beat or with like a vocal or something, it's it could base you yeah. even more like <laughs> you you hear it, bro, and you like almost feel it. Yeah. yeah. So I get that album was an experience, bro. Like it it just it was the it was the climax of my high, bro. Yeah, my like, my bad. I'm not actually listen to it. After I, that album, I tried to listen to the Lato album. I just turned that shit off. So like, <laughs> like three, four songs in, I was like, "This is just not the Lato same." Is bro. But I get no, it. I love I Lato. It. Yeah. I love Lato. But like, the beats were were obvious. Mm. The flows were obvious. This Ashake guy, he's just that nigga is just sick, bro. Like, he's just a creative like. But I could tell, so I've been, I've been hearing that active song outside, eh? mm. and I was like, "This is not." He's active the one with. With the Central C. Oh, see. No, it's not. There's a Central C and Shaka song. Yeah. Oh, and Central C is lead. That's the one mm. I'd had out. Let me see. Let me see. Um, that that song I've been I've been hearing it outside. Oh, I Travis Scott. Yeah, that yeah. one's also hard. Yeah, that one's also hard. And I'm like, this is different, bro. But like, I did not think that it's from this album. I just thought it was like a single because mm. you know Travis Scott. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, by Friday. I'll, I'll, come, I'll come with my yeah. own review. You I'll come with my own review. Bro, there, is that, listen to that album. there is this Spotify playlist I've been listening to. Mm. It's updated every week. It's weekly updated. What's it called? It's called I'm a P- sorry, Afro Beats and I'm a Piano Mix 2024. Mm-hmm. Updated weekly. But it's filled with a lot of Ashake like music. Eh? Mm. More I don't know that music has passed me by, bro. Because I always <laughs> listen to his albums as soon as they drop. Ashake is definitely a very heavily like playlisted artist, bro. Because even if very few guys know what he's saying, mm. he just says it in such a cool way, bro, that like it's just a vibe, bro. Okay. Eh. I swear there's a song where he's speaking Spanish on this album, bro. Tumba? Easy. Like he's mixing like Spanish with English with what does he re- what does he sing in like Yoruba or something? Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know what his language is, but he mixes it with that language. Anyway, man. I'm trying to see if, if that thing is in the top one hundred. What boy? Boy from what? Let me see. The album, Lango Boy or something. Uh, yeah, Lungu Boy. Lungu Boy, Lungu Boy, Lango Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Lungu Boy. 
Um, yeah, man. So that was my review of that Shaka album, bro. Please go listen. Okay, so this is why I thought it was a single because there's an actual. Yeah, single. that was the first single. Yeah, yeah. Active was the first. But obviously, yeah. Travis Scott, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be the first single. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Very Fine. interesting things he did with the beats on this album. Very interesting things he does with his flow. But that nigga is just Ashake is ju- he's just that guy. How many is now, it an EP on album? How many songs? It's an album, bro. Full length album. Yeah. Full length album. Yeah, I'll come with my own review on on on, on Friday, man. Yeah, I think Ashake yeah. might be my favorite right now, man. Is it? Yeah. Same. He's my favorite right now. Same. I think uh, obviously I'm a big Burner Boy fan, big Rema fan, but I'm a fan of the guys who are doing like trying to do interesting things mm. in the music, like trying to not make the sound that they know will work for them. I have the most unconventional top three African artists, bro. Hey. Oh, like but the time I was jazzing mine, and guys were like, but boss. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, what do you mean? So oh, my yeah, favorite yeah. is Black Coffee. Okay. That's house. Black Bones, yeah? Okay. No, Black Coffee. Black Coffee. Mm. Yeah. Uh, second, Amari. Okay. Makes sense. But she hasn't put out enough of recent. Mm, but she, had, she put out, I think her album was last year. It was last year? Yeah, it was, it was like year. a long time ago, bro. It was last year. And then I honestly don't know if she's African, but in my head she's African. Pink Panthers. Is she African? No. Nah. She's not? No. Nah. Okay, now there's another babe who's like Pink Panthers. What's her name? Um, damn. Her name has gone. Mm. Uh, guys are going to cook me for I Pink think Panthers. I think I know that chick. Yeah. Anyway, um, please jazzing, I'll get the name. Yeah, bro, no. I think Rema also tried to do something interesting with his album, but it didn't touch me the same way that Shaki one did, man. Mm. Yeah, the Rema one was a bit... <laughs> the, I, I listened to the Re- yes, Rema album, so. finally. Mm. I think it might be a grower. Yeah. And I haven't given it enough time. So, it hasn't grown on me, pause, but... Pause. Yeah. Heavy pause, bro. Rema. Yeah, we'll, we'll listen. What are we trying to say? Bloody Civilian. Mm. Yeah. Bloody Seven. Bloody Civilian. I was like, bloody seven, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> bloody, bloody civilian. civilian. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. So those are my thoughts on the Ashake album. Uh, what was your topic? I will bring the Ashake album review of my own Friday. on Friday. Mm. Um, my topic was basically the Ivan Magomu and you are you thing. So we all know Ivan Magomu, Captain Pirates, Captain uh, Uganda Cranes, 15s. Uh, this is rugby, by the way. And also, he's almost our age, so many guys' friends, really. And uh, he... The URU is the Uganda Rugby Union? Yeah, the Uganda Rugby Union. And uh, about two weeks ago, or last week, depending on when this comes out, uh, he was suspended for six months from rugby and stripped of his captaincy. What's the reason? Uh, So he tweeted uh, the... Ministry of, one of the ministries, I'm not sure which one, wrote to the Uganda Rugby Union and told them to, like, I think it's the General Secretary, told the General Secretary to step down. And then, Magomu's tweet was like, um, it, it was against, like, corruption in the, in the Uganda Rugby Union. And so the Uganda Rugby Union decides, yo, you cannot be the captain. You can't be tweeting these things. So mm. their statement says, is bringing the sport into disrepute. Okay. Yeah, by tweeting such things. But tell me why, when they call him for the disciplinary hearing, their case is apparently violent conduct with a match official, mm. which happened in June. Yeah? Mm. And they said that he verbally abused this, this, this official and tried to get physical. Come, we can say that's a case, yeah? But the question everyone is asking themselves, like the rugby fans, is if Magomo hadn't tweeted this thing, would mm. they have called him? Because yeah. between June and now, Uganda has played and he has been captain through two tournaments. Yeah? And I'm like, it doesn't make sense. That's why, like, everyone, or, or, like, if, if you use Twitter at least, or X, whatever, it's just that tweet, which you, broke that camera you will, born, you will see that a lot of people are like, bruh, this just does not make sense. Because... It's literally the same thing we were talking about a few weeks ago with like the protests. Yeah? Mm. The moment he jazzed is when they decided to call him for that and then saying, by tweeting this, you also bring the sport into disrepute. So there are two cases. And uh, of course he has appealed because they gave him 72 hours to appeal. His lawyers have appealed. And he's a lawyer himself. Yeah, he's a lawyer himself. But you can't defend yourself, can you? 
So I don't even know much about like law in Uganda and sport. I'm really not. Um, I, I don't know if we have like a court of arbit- arbitration of sport. What? But like it just doesn't make sense to anyone mm. to to do all that. And of course, Pirates won this weekend. Uh, they dedicated the trophy to him, mm. and he has called against like because people are trying to boycott the matches, man. Fans are yeah, saying let's yeah. not go go for any rugby matches. Saying nah. yeah, he went on fat cuts. If you're a rugby fan, that's another podcast. Shout out to them. Mm. Uh, he went on fat cuts and said, "Nah, don't boycott. Like go for the matches because then the sport, like that, yeah. will do more harm than <laughs> good." But I just think the Uganda Rugby Union has been too, what's the word, um, complacent in these things. Like they think they are the ultimate. Uh, say all be all for rugby, which they are, mm. yeah, but like at this rate, I also think they also need a players' union, bro. Because mm. it can't come two months after he has been serving the captaincy, and then they use that case against him. When the reason that's why they've been um, going against it now is because apparently the referee didn't file uh, what they call it an offense, a, a case, something like that. And it's supposed to be within 48 hours. Okay. These guys are bringing back after three months. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So it just doesn't make sense. So they just need an excuse to like shut him up or teach him a lesson type thing. Exactly. Yeah. Against speaking against well, the that's how it looks at least. Yeah. And we all know, because like um, at least the few years I played rugby, um, these guys are not compensated. And this was his point. Mm. If you get injured... That's on you and the team to figure out. The why Uganda Rugby Union has nothing to do with it. Yo, yeah. why do I feel like it's more like, you know how you would break the law and then you're put on probation? Mm. I feel like while he was told maybe you didn't say anything and maybe that would like pull away all these things. Like maybe he was warned. and what? then I've not understood. Maybe he was like warned the first time he did the other thing, the one which happened two months ago. The fighting thing. Yeah. Mm. And maybe he was like warned and he was like on some probation type shit. And now, and now he did something that else did and this. Yeah, penalizing yeah. Him. Nothing like that. The offenses are too different, bro. Yeah. Like me saying something on Twitter, it shouldn't even be an offense, bro. Mm. He's basically like almost whistleblowing. Mm. I'm saying there's corruption in a URU. Yeah. Because that's different from me abusing a ref. The you URU know. has sponsors. Mm. And um, of course, we know <coughs> Nile. Like there are a bunch of them. We can start listing them also for legal reasons. Man. Yeah. Um, the URU has sponsors. But again, the players are not taken care of. Like, there's no rugby player who is satisfied with the URU's involvement in the sport. Mm. Yeah, all we hear is, man, we've sent them to Dubai to play sevens. Mm. We've sent them to this other country to play sevens. We are hosting sevens. Mm. A player's compensation for playing, of course, it depends on the club. But I okay, can go with like 15 bob mm. after being after playing for 80 minutes. Mm. Crazy. Um, even the club sponsors, different clubs have different issues with their sponsors, and the URU just does not care about the players enough. The, the entire situation is a mess, bro. Uh, you know what I think? Um, I think also him saying it, like it coming from the captain, mm. it means more. So maybe that's why they mm. overreacted and they're like, we need to gag this thing before guys think that, like, he, like, he, like, that he's a credible source, you know what I mean? Yeah. So they kind of try to like, as if throw that on his name and be like, man, look at this guy. He tried to beat a ref the other day. He's even suspended. Mm. So he's doing like it because we have a case him. against him and not because it's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. So maybe that's yeah. it. I just don't like the entire situation. And I'll, I promise you, literally, there's no fan I've met who is on the side of the URU. None. Yeah, but now what happens? That's the thing. They, we just have to wait for the appeal. Unless we are boycotting the matches, which I don't know. Just I don't know how that again. serves. Because again, the Uganda rugby community is, it's not as big. Yeah? Like, mm. guys really love the sport. Mm. But you can compare it to like football. Mm. You get. So, uh, that's a constraint, first of all, on rugby itself. Because then if guys are not going to the matches, there's not going to be enough money either way. Mm. And there is, there's really not enough money. Secondly, um, what am I trying to say? Secondly, the the sport in itself has been on the rise the past few years. Mm. I feel like this just takes in it popularity. back, bro. Yeah. 
I think these guys don't know. I, of, obviously, now that guys are watching the pod, a lot more people are going to know. But mm. have, have they have the Fat Cats guys talked to anyone from the URU? I don't think they have, because the URU said they're not putting out any other statements or dealing this until the appeal is finished. Mm. Yeah. So <coughs> the entire situation is just mm. Mm. Oh, demon slayer. Hey. <laughs> How she's showing it to him? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's just one of those things where it's, the entire situation is it's it's a mess right now. Yeah. And hopefully they will come to um, an agreement because for me also policing social media, I get it. Yeah. But I, also, I think that's why I also wrote down the UK thing. You know, I I think I think they're even stressing him a bit more because you can't take it back, man. Yeah, you already <laughs> said they're corrupt, bro. <laughs> like it cannot be taken back. So yeah. if they forgive you, like they're forgiving you on, on like it's not real forgiveness. You know yeah. What I mean? Well, yeah. maybe they're succumbing to the pressure from the public, but for them they are still tight and about the shit you did. The public is not big enough for them to succumb to the pressure. Ah uh-huh. <laughs> I feel like you, rugby fans. <laughs> yeah. Go we are not many, bro. bro. But like, actually, if if they decide to boycott the games, then ah, maybe la, la, you're saying that maybe. rugby fans are not many, but they have a loud voice. A they loud do. one. They, they do. They mm. do definitely, definitely. But it's also not one of those things where you remember when Fufu had issues, bro. Mm-hmm. Also, some ratchet guys who are they striking. See, just I feel like the football community in Uganda. Is much less loyal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> than no, the rugby guys. The rugby guys are like, very loyal. That's the truth. Rugby very guys, loyal. and they very are loyal. a unit, bro. Very if loyal. If they actually agree to boycott games because of Magomo, mm. and those guys will sweat. Mm. <laughs> and you know what? What sweat. annoys me even more. Last year, the URU had, had held a players' welfare committee because they were receiving funding from like the global rugby union. There was no representative for the pl- for the players in that yeah. thing. It Crazy. is about players' welfare. Wow. Crazy. There was not Crazy. a single representative for the players. None, bro. Yeah. Like, the entire situation is um like tricky. But also, to be fair, I still want to hear what like the U R U R U has to say. Um, I so think they have to say something. Man, get it done. Mm. Get it done. Get it done. Shout out Fat Cats, man. Yeah, They're doing well. Actually, they could get like the Secretary General himself. Man. Yeah. I or think it's called Fat like Oguel. I think that's so the name. Because yeah. I'd be interested to hear what he has to say, mm. especially if he's going up there to be honest. Because I also believe that those guys there have made a lot of sacrifices as well. True. They probably put true, a lot true, of true, money true. into the sport that will never come back to them. They probably had to do a lot of things, bro. So I would like to hear those guys' perspective as well. But otherwise, man, Magomo is a guy that we know. So yeah. for now, like, and he's a guy we'll side with, man. Yeah. I, at least I can speak for myself. Yeah. Yeah. That's a guy we'll side with. Yeah. Wish yeah. him the best. We hope he figures it out. We hope his appeal is successful. Um, yeah, man. Indeed. And congrats to the Pirates, bro. Congrats yeah. to the Pirates. Bally Savings. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Next topic. Oh, yeah. But before you even go to the next topic, yeah. today morning as I was on uh, Instagram, I came across this uh, car clip from Kanyanda Podcast. Uh-huh. And some chick was talking about how ugly girls are supposed to be the ones to give the boys... Money. What? Ugly girls should give boys money? Yeah. <laughs> In a relationship. Damn. Who said that? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's polarizing <laughs> content, man. <laughs> We're That's not coming from Magomo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should be on. Bro. To be fair, that I, is real polarizing <laughs> content, bro. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Which podcast is this? This Kanganda guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Uh-huh. And it was a chick who was saying that. If you're ugly, you can be ugly and broke. The least you can do is work. Damn. <sighs> that was a chick say. Uh-huh. I feel like this is one of those things where, like, you can tell it to us on a pod, but I don't think we can delve <laughs> further into it, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> what were the King Ganda guys saying? Okay, let's, what were their opinions? Bro? What, what did they think? It was a cliff. They just died. Ah, okay, okay. Because yeah, then they, all, they also like, Yeah, that is yeah. crazy. <laughs> That's a crazy thing to say, man. <laughs> Oh um, man, yeah, man. We, in the eyes we of the meet beholder. a bit too many people who we know for us to start jazz. Yeah, man. what I if they slap me? Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, bro. Like, I've very new light to that. Same, yeah, bro. yeah. I'll yeah. give you a chance to apply. It, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know this may be so polarizing, but bro, there are people who are ugly. Uh-huh. 
believe it or not. See a privilege of being here. Yeah, but you can't say what you want. Like, wow, even me back in the day, I used to jazz. Man. Yeah. Now I'm just like, you can oh. go crazy behind that. Like, because <laughs> actually, what? But us, the faces. <laughs> <laughs> well, the ones will be coming. They will okay. clip it and come from me in my wedding. Like, look day. at this boy's <laughs> podcast. Nonsense <laughs> being discussed, man. Bro, I won't lie to you, yeah. Recently, I was also watching a pod, and this chick said, um, for it was coming from a study, and she said, not everyone in the world can be beautiful. That's true. Can yeah. be beautiful everywhere. Yeah, like, yeah. when their study is, there's a reason as to why ratios exist. Like over forty percent of the world is over very attractive. What, 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 and it's calm. Like we we don't have to. Her point was, we don't have to just allow everything. Bro. Like we can't say everyone is beautiful. Blah 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 blah. Again, I just scrolled. I was like, mm. I'm telling <laughs> you, man, that we that we. I know you. You overplay over mm. life safe. That we changes with like the place that you are. Yeah, it changes with like the era. It changes like. Beauty standards are always changing. Bro. I can go to nowhere like, right now. Yeah, that beauty standard day be is why you different, here. bro. Wait, yeah. W- which beauty are we talking about? Facial beauty or body? Both. Both. Everything. Both, bro. Yeah. But in this, in this point, I want to prioritize the facial beauty. That one also changes. Mm, it and also it changes. changes in almost. It also right. changes. I'm telling you, it also changes. I think there's no one says as gravity, when it bro. Comes to beauty. That it has constant as gravity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's I I, it I changes, highly bro. disagree. It highly disagree. Okay, when guys come and tell you this is a body, and then guys are like, mm. okay. The only thing is now because of like the internet and whatnot, mm. it's kind of yeah, the world has become a bit globalized. So we can we have at least an understanding of what other people consider beauty, mm. and we've tried to like blend I that into our own. You. Like it can convince you. Yeah, like, by yeah, the way, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if I see like. Like a, a K drama, I know what their description of a beautiful woman is. So like I'll understand it as if. Mm. So I kind of can tell the one that they think is beautiful and the one they don't think is beautiful. Mm. But honestly, sometimes they'll show me a chick they don't think is beautiful. I'll be like, man, she looks <laughs> hard to me. Yeah, it's it's that's that's gay, yeah, she's kind yeah. of thick. <laughs> gay, you know, you know how like, they are. You also know how like uh, in, in many of those, like the Asian countries, yeah. like being thick, thickness like, yeah, is yeah, like yeah. a yeah. 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 So sometimes they'll they like you like and you be like, "Man, them slim, huh? Surely yeah. not. Like if yeah. if you're thick, they will tell you, "Man, you're fat." Yeah, but not you're thick. Yeah. yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, because yeah. here, man, yeah, be baby. But the, so, yeah, yeah that's why I'm trying to eliminate the body beauty. I'm only prioritizing, prioritize- like the only focusing even on even the face because changes, for that is like general. I don't know if it's general, bro. I don't know. I don't think it's jazz. Wait, no guys in the comments will jazz us. They will always jazz us. Ah, guys, <laughs> some of our guys can be weak, man. But <laughs> you get the point, bro. Yeah, you get the point. Um, yeah, man, that was a crazy statement, though. And let's end it there. Mm. <laughs> let's end it. There. Mm. Yeah, what was our other topic, bro? Uh, speaking about globalization. <laughs> <laughs> um, the past three weeks, have you been seeing what's happening in the UK? Um, the. Anti-immigration rights. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Ah. Uh-huh. All right. So just, qu- I don't know if we've talked about it yet, but uh, we talked about it, but not with respect to the UK. It was the rest of Europe. Mm. Uh-huh. All right. Cool. Yeah. So I'll I'll just give a brief a recap on, on how it began. Mm. So there's this Taylor Swift dance class that's happening. The black guy walks in. Bro, we actually did talk about this. Did we? Yeah, we did. But go ahead. I yeah. don't think it was on the main part. So okay. Fair. Black guy walks in. Stabs a bunch of girls, slices kids. Them. Yeah. Kids, bro. Kids. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is a dance class, so of course they're kids. Yeah. Um, and of course, we know he's, he's a Randy's immigrant. Randan he's, I- immigrant. He's actually a Welsh immigrant mm. of Randan heritage. heritage. So he's like a 17 year old from Cardiff, which is in Wales. Yeah, 17 year old guy, but Randan heritage. But Welsh nationality, Welsh mm. citizenship. But this happens in England. Okay, yeah. Yeah. In it, yeah. Yeah. So um, after that, of course, there are a bunch of people that, like, the protests have not yet begun, mm. but there are a bunch of people up in arms. Like, yo, these immigrants, some of them are even illegal. Why are they coming to us? Like, why, why are they coming and they're committing crime? Because you also know the knife, you know the UK and guns. If you with a gun, yeah. you're arrested. So, so the knife yeah, crime is, is, is going crazy. Mm. And the gangs are also going crazy. So when you're a stop boy, 
There's it's a bit real. of yeah. That just is happening, and unfortunately, um, the the UK government refuses to accept that these things are happening, according mm. to the people at least. Like they will talk about it, but you cannot talk about it. Yeah. So the protests begin, and I think was it on the second of the tro- protests when they stormed the mosque, something like that. Yeah. And then after that, now everyone is attacking the Muslims. Like the Muslims uh, are the ones doing these things, blah, 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 blah. And the Muslims are like, bruh, that guy was not even a Muslim. The guy who began all this. And us, we're also here. Of course, you know, there are people who are like second generation immigrants. They have been born there. Like, why are they fighting us? Mm. And then there are also black Muslims as well, mainly. Mm. Yeah, because, I mean, if you look at the demographics of the UK, it's heavily... Um, okay, there are a lot of Muslims. Not heavily, mm. but there are a lot of Muslims. It's not like 5% Islam, blah, 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 blah. So, unfortunately, the way it's being publicized is that if you support these riots, you're racist. Mm. Yeah? Because now you're against the black guys. Mm. And that's annoying the protesters because they're like, us, we're not racist. We're just protesting illegal immigration. And all that has come, we've talked about all that. Now, the past week, uh, the UK set up an entire department to check um, people's social media. Mm-hmm. Do you know how many guys have been arrested for tweets? Mm. And Which is why I brought this after Magum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the number of guys who have been arrested for tweets is crazy. Like they like find you in your home. Xenophobic shit. Mm, they find you in your home, they're like, why did you tweet this? Come with us. Jail. Mm. And yet, now the protests have increased because they're like, you're arresting us for a tweet. A guy who sexually assaulted someone is getting community service. A guy you tweeted is getting two years in prison. Yeah. Let me get this thing straight. Who, who is like, which group of people is protesting? White people. White people. Mm-hmm. White people. Because UK. UK is historically white. Mm. While it's not... Um, the ratios are not the same today because, I mean, we all know what has happened yeah. in the past few years, like the colonization, everything. But they were, they were white before. Now, again, there's also the section that thinks that apparently the UK, because of like globalization, they should have the same culture. Yeah? Which is the culture that was there before. But guys are like, boss, as we came from where we were, we were Muslim, we were black. Other guys are like, fine, we are clean. We are Christian, but we are still black. Like, why do you want us to have the same culture? Mm. Yeah, so, I mean, the guys who are protesting are many different groups. There's also the Tommy Robinson group. for them who are protesting because of the, the gangs, yeah? But then also now that escalated into, like, actual full-blown riots and, like, fires and I stuff. Yeah. But then it's that thing during the past week of arresting you on social media that somehow, bro. And this also reminds me of literally what happened here. Like, guys... Arresting you from a basement mm. um, when you're... For guys who don't know, we had a whole discussion about this on Patreon. But for guys who arrest you from a basement just because of a, a protest... Mm. Well, freedom of speech seems to be a myth for me nowadays with, like, governments. Because mm. we can't say, fine, it has happened in Uganda. Guys were not allowed to march. They were arrested, blah, blah, blah. By the way, now all of them are out. All of them have bail, at least. So well done to the legal teams that helped. But, like, even in the UK... Even in the yeah, US. I don't even remember in that discussion that we had, I told you that like certain rights of yours can be limited mm. in in particular circumstances, bro. Like if it can be proved that you're using this right to infringe upon the rights of someone else. Okay. Um I hear that. Limited. I hear that. So now the thing of arresting you for tweets. It's happening mm. in the UK right now. Mm. It has happened here before. Mm. So one of those things where that. like Twitter should have community guidelines mm. to stop guys from saying certain like things super, like super messed up stuff right mm. but you know how Twitter is right now mm. super Free duper speech. liberal right? yeah so not I guess liberal. now that maybe liberal is not the word no n- not liberal <laughs> in that sense <laughs> <laughs> liberal in that sense of you can say what you want yeah um, yeah so I think that maybe now in light of of the protests, because those protests, are sh- they become quite violent, bro. Yeah. Like, at the peak, I was seeing videos of black people getting chased by white mobs. Bro. Mm. Like, a mob of white people just chasing down a random yeah. And just so you know, the reason that's why I brought this up is because 
We have a lot of people who listen from the UK. Yeah, no, bro. So I also want I to know what it's like, to, man. I was just talking to April. Yeah. About this. Shout out April. The weekend of my sister's function, I was talking to April about this jazz. And she was telling me, bro, like, the the biggest protest is happening in her city. Mm. And, like, it's very, very scary for them right now, man. Like, it's scary to go outside because a mob of guys can just come at you mm. and beat you, man. That, They'll hear your crazy. accent. Mm. And obviously, like, certain immigrants is identifiers, bro. Like, this guy just looks like an immigrant. You know what I mean? Yeah. He doesn't look like he has you been just, here you a just, You don't have a door. For well, certain guys, yeah. there are certain indicators. But... For most people, bro, just being black is enough. Being like Indian or being, you know, some, a different race, it's enough for them, bro, to say that you're an immigrant. Mm. You're not supposed to be here. And if, even if your name is like Eric and you were born there, nah, they're yeah. like, you, but where like, are you from? Where are you from? What's your where heritage, you from, yeah. though? Yeah. You know and it's mean. so bad, bro. And like, my question is, fine, we have community guidelines on Twitter. Do these guidelines apply to everyone across the world in their different jurisdictions as a country? <laughs> yeah. That's, yes. Kind of, well, yeah, that, the law there becomes depends. very tricky for yeah, me. It depends. It depends, yeah. it depends. It depends. It depends. That, that's what I need to understand because if they arrest me for a tweet, mm. yeah. who, because wh- what you said was as, as long as it's affecting someone else, will they be like, my viewers, you, you had 2,000 views on that tweet? You have affected 2,000 guys. Think of it this <laughs> way. If. Uh, Let's imagine that they were like during the Buganda, those Buganda riots. Mm. Mm. Let's imagine that at that time Twitter was a big thing, like social media was popping already. Mm. And let's say like the Buganda are in town and they are hunting people down, beating them up, maybe maybe maybe, maybe killing them or whatever. And you, you're on Twitter. Let's say Windek is on Twitter, and he's saying. We have to finish these guys today. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, that one is a threat. You might need to bring yeah. you to explain <laughs> what you meant. You know what I mean? Yeah. That one is a threat. Like, yeah. okay, Kawa, even if you didn't commit that crime, explain to us what you meant by this tweet. Mm. Yeah. That means you must, you, at least you know someone who did, or you might have evidence that can lead us to the guys who, because those guys are wearing masks. It, yeah. Those guys are wearing, so these guys are almost just left with like circumstantial evidence of the guys who are in those riots. Mm, so if I'm seeing a bunch of tweets of guys threatening, guys celebrating, guys, we're going to call all of you in and we shall find the guys who are actually involved. Bro. Fair. Yeah, I yeah, think like that's a What is an outright threat? I understand. Yeah. Some of the tweets those guys are being arrested for are funny. Yeah. They are funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> like a guy would just be like, <laughs> My neighbor is somehow blah blah like you know bunts yeah, yeah, and yeah. they come for you and you get twenty four months in jail, bro. Yeah. And also that's part of the discrepancy. You get two years in jail for a tweet. Mm. A guy was assaulted, gets one hundred eighty community service hours. Yeah, it's mm. tricky. It's like tricky. man, that's why it's yeah. tricky. But you can appeal. You can appeal. I guess when, when, when the things, things are done, acquitted. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. You never know. Because this is also happening in the US, man. Because if you're being, let me tell you, if you're being charged at the height of the thing. It's different from what you'll be charged later on, man, when things have cooled down a bit. Mm, like, fair. the judge will be more level-headed. But now, while shit is lit, we have to give guys heavy charges so that, guys so that everyone else yeah. can be like, hey, man, <laughs> hey, <first> relax. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I was telling you about these guys when they went in. Yeah. They, like, keeping them in for those days is to teach everyone else a lesson and let them know, hey, you come and, and protest. But when we grab you, you'll first be inside for like a week mm. before you get to see a judge. Yeah, man. All in all, the reason that's why I brought this up was, first of all, in relation to the Magomo thing, but also, we have a lot of UK listeners. I think mm. it's our second biggest third, I think. So I hope all of you are safe, first of all. And if you have anything, tell us about the situation, DM. Yeah, well, we don't want you to tweet and they take you. <laughs> or just in the comments. Yeah. yeah. In the comments, you may find them. No, but they'll just be jazzing. <laughs> Don't yeah. say anything inflammatory, man. Yeah. Don't, yeah. I tell you don't abuse guys, man. Mm. But yeah. like, if you have anything to tell us about the situation, DM um, on social media or in the yeah. comments. Yeah. And we'll read it here. Just to yeah. understand the situation. This reminded me of this thing I saw. You know, I, maybe it was a joke or what. It was uh, during a men's regime where he was saying over, in Uganda you have freedom of speech, but I can't guarantee freedom after speech. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Accurate, bro. You know that's actually very. You have solved my Accurate, dilemma. Accurate, bro. You have solved my speech, dilemma. Cause um, uh, yeah, man. Anyway, 
uh, something else I wanted to say about this topic. I think that like that ka thing, that ka anti-immigration thing, mm. it's almost universal, bro. I mean, like, even here. Even here, remember, like refugees, don't you remember? Yeah. Yeah. Remember that yeah. video of the, what they call it? That's the Eritreans and Somalis and those guys mm. in cubs. Mm-hmm. Do you watch that kind of com- guys complaining about them? I've forgotten mm. the name they give them. When they the Somalis guys? They call them a certain name though. There's a Chigana one for those guys. I'll find that kind of <laughs> guy. I'll play it for you guys. But just know, guys were complaining about those guys. Same way they complain about the Indians, about the Chinese. Like, this is our place. Mm. You guys are coming and taking our jobs because they're doing like regular people jobs. And the guys are mobile money mm. while driving school. Or <laughs> guys were pissed about that yeah. shit. I remember we said a full discussion about yeah. this. Yeah. So, like, it's almost a thing of like the people in the UK, although the histories are different, for a lot of guys, that's the same way they feel. Like, yeah. these guys have come to our country. Me, I can't get work. Mm. This guy has a job. The guy is driving a car. But the guy is like, and why? And what's what's my much jobs? to me is that's on their placards, all of them, okay, not all of them because yeah, people are different. But most of them start with like, I'm not racist, but. Mm. Like guys have pointed out, I'm not racist, I'm white. Yeah. I'm not racist, but these guys are just yeah. doing too much. Bro. Yeah. And whereas us here, it's like jobs. It not this like crime. I feel like they're just hiding their racism behind the facade of being tired of immigrants. Yeah. To me, that's I what I feel. Nah, I don't know. I don't think so. But like, of course, there are guys there who are probably racist. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of, yeah. Course, of course, of course. But we also can't say that most of them are. Because, I mean, even here, yeah, um, I, if I'm to be honest, like if I ask you, like if you find a Somali guy, are you going to be like, you're Somali? Yeah? What do you mean? Like, you, you get my point. Like, my point is, if, if we are to transpose that situation into Uganda, if you find a Somali guy, are you going to be like, boss? Not us. Yeah. yeah. But there are guys who are, there are guys. guys who feel touched. Exactly. Bro. But then like, also, not all the guys who are touched by the situation. It's difficult for me. It's difficult for me because I feel like if, let's say, okay, now me, I'm a lawyer. Mm. Mm. If the legal profession all of a sudden started to get like, just filled with refugees, bro. Like, mm. it's now just filled with Somalis and Eritreans and... Like, it's just them who are now taking over the field. Mm. I might feel a way about that, bro. Yeah, same about way guys, that. Same way guys feel a way about, bar owners feel a way about, like, how much those guys dominate in their field. Yeah. You know, so I I understand it, but it's one of those things where, like, you kind of have to empathize with the guy. Like, the guy has also mm. come here for a better life. He's trying to figure things out. Like, and your entitlement to, to UG is not... Some of them were born here. A lot of them. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like it only, only affects the guys who feel like they're on verge of being re- replaced. Because honestly, let me ask you a, a very quick question. Huh? If I told you went to a hospital and there is a surgeon who's going to work on you, and there is this black surgeon and there is this American surgeon, which one would you prefer to work on you? Only I've not had a thing you've just said, bro. That if you go for surgery, mm. and there's an American surgeon and a black surgeon, and a Ugandan surgeon. And a Ugandan surgeon. Which guy is qualified? Man, I want to leave. <laughs> and <laughs> and yo, a surgeon, well, I can't even see, How many man. of these have you done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, here's the thing. Uh, my point is, I think, when it comes to things like jobs, um, one, my mind works in a very heavy merit way. Like if you can do if you can do that job, do it. Exactly. I'm not gonna be like you, you're American, you, you're black. Let me choose a guy. Yeah. Those things. Okay, for me, I would say if you wait, applied mob would be like Famoma. My Famo can do it, and there's a random guy who can do it for relax. But even yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Like yeah. <laughs> this might be risky, but <laughs> it's just the truth. Yeah. You guys know that I, I live in Bogolobi. So when I'm going out, it's mostly on Bandali. Mm. Mm. As soon as I find out that a bar is Eritrean owned, I'm less like, not less willing to go there, but I I want to go to all the Ugandan owned spots more than I want to go to the Eritrean owned ones. Mm. For example, on Bandali, I go to Alchemist, I go to Silo. Mm. All the other places on Bandali mm. are owned by Eritreans. <laughs> I feel it feels funny to me going to all these other guys, yet I can get the same thing. 
from a Uganda. You know that's that, fair. Do they so, play the music we like? They are. Oh, <laughs> hey, they they go crazy, crazy bro. bro. Like they <laughs> they have mastered mm. that bizo. Okay. They know how to do that business, bro. But yet I still feel that like it's almost my responsibility mm, to, to patronize an Uganda. Yeah. But is that not also kind of like xenophobic yeah, in a way? No. See, that's boo boo. That's boo boo. <laughs> what is yeah, it's is called boo boo, man? <laughs> <laughs> that's bullshit. Yeah. yeah, I won't lie. I won't lie. Um, for me, it's it's. I don't feel that way. For mm. me, it's like where I will enjoy the most. If we if we're saying like buzz, to be like where will I enjoy? Mm. If it's businesses. What business do I like that will give me a service? Mm. The Ugandan yeah. one. If it's a Ugandan one, kawa. Mm. If it's like a foreigner who owns the business. Come as long on. as I'm getting the service I want from day, mm. I will go day. Because now it's like saying, man, look, man. I'm using a random example. Mm. Look, man, oils is owned by Ugandan. Of course, I know it's not. Mm. And Shell is owned by a foreign guy. I know Shell is good for my engine, man. Mm. This other one, I don't know. But see, that's the difference. You see, those two, they're not equal options. Yeah, yeah, but like if I'm just I can a go, example. If a beer at Silo mm. is 9K mm. and a beer at Ruby is 9K or 10K or whatever. You go to Silo. That you like I'm getting the exact same thing from these two places. Yeah. They both have like comfortable seating, good vibes, good drinks, da, da, da. but I'm still choosing to go to the Ugandan owned one. Nah, I don't feel like you're choosing. I just feel like maybe the people you know are going there. It's the vibe which is taking you there. Trust me, if most of mm. the guys you fucked with were like going to Ruby, because you know, there was a time when guys were going, going to Thrones, there. guys were going to Vault, we were going yeah. there. Yeah, well, good. I feel like yeah. it depends on which place gets lit the proper way you yeah. want so it. So it's less yeah. about that. But I'll t- what I why I'm saying this is because it's actually something that I think about. But like I, I'm intentional about it. Like that's why I've been going to Alchemist for as long as I have. I know that it's Uganda. The guys who keep it running because Alchemist has been there, man. It has <laughs> been there. Like I know, bro. Yeah. So I don't know, but I don't know if it's something that I feel guilty about because I'm sure the Eritreans feel the same way. Mm. I, it's clear that the Indians feel that way as well. To be fair, and I don't know if I'm offended by it necessarily. Yeah, I'm only offended if I'm not allowed in as well. And that's what guys were complaining about in that video. I'm going to show you guys. Mm. They were like, these people have their places where we're not allowed to go. They have their places where we'll go, and they'll only give us certain things. They won't give us other things. Mm. So unless is that, ca- that's what I was going to say. Then. Like to be fair, if they have their ca- community. One, I wouldn't go there personally. Mm. Maybe I just mind my business too much, bro. But like, if I see a restaurant and it has like those habesha letters, mm. yeah, true. I don't even know what I'm going to eat, man. Exactly. You may even find like, a menu when it's in that language. Yeah. Like, so there's that, guys yeah. are complaining about that. Yeah, you can. Yeah, like, at least use I, a I'll general like, language oh, everyone can understand. That's their sport. Calm, yeah. calm. Because to be honest, if you go to like the US or the UK, there are spots that sell Ugandan food that mm. have the Ugandan flag outside mm. that Ugandans go to. Mm. So, I, I, as you said, like, in the beginning of this conversation, that thing is everywhere. Mm. For me, I just don't think it factors in when it comes to, like, businesses. Like, if I like the business, I will go there. Ah, Come bro. what may. But yeah. trust me, Sido, mm-hmm. having the menu in those people, okay. No, no, no. That's, a, that's how an should I bring a foreign language. That's, that's in a foreign extreme. language. Yeah. That is like telling guys who are the natives, stay away. That's an excuse. Because you know your language and is not again. everywhere. It's not understood by everyone. Okay, it's like having Does you know a Ugandan... Ugandan yeah, there are so many places. Casa Sola does an Italian menu. There are so many places. Yeah. My so question is, mm. what's wrong with that? How are you going to understand what you're ordering for? Auntie, they want their guys to yeah, feel Yeah, it's home. their guys. Like, you know they, they have a big population here. Mm. What's wrong with that? Auntie, that, that means, regardless of them being like having a big population here, it d- you guys, they can't outnumber the Ugandans there. No. That's true. You understand? That's true. So the My fact that they decided to keep it in their language, it's like they are telling you, it's an indirect you're way welcome, of telling yeah. you, you're not this welcome. Is our and space, space don't enter our space. Yeah. Again, what's wrong with that? Mm. Like I want to understand it from your point of view because yeah. me, I do not see the problem. Yeah, maybe we should stop being touched by it. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Like them have it, wanting to have their own spaces. Because in the, our country. We have our own spaces in other countries, man. Yeah. Uh, so if we're doing that, then even us, we should bounce. Mm. Yeah. If like you go to should go to Chinatown. Uh-huh. Mm, they should bounce all the Chinatowns. You get, if you find a restaurant that, like, say, Mamadia set up in, in New York, 
Even if you should bounce it, because why Uganda and Sudan? Yeah, why are you sitting up your car down here? You get that's the thing. If that's the men is in English, it's kawa, but if it's in Luganda, I'm a talk kama nyige. Very so you know, so you know, happy you'd be so like that. <laughs> yeah, you'd be so happy to see. You that. would go and be like matoke, not uh, smashed banana, yeah. some just like that. You would be so excited. So me, I do not see the problem in it. If it's their community, let them do their thing. Yeah, but I think that you should also have a menu in English. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just on some like. Okay, we get that this is your space, mm. but don't like, as if like, refuse other people from experiencing yeah. your culture. You know, that's where yeah. that's where now it becomes funny, and that's where guys' sensitivity is coming because people the way people see it is, for us we let you come to our country mm. and set up your life, but for us we can enter your restaurant. Ah, okay, yeah. well, like, you know, I won't like, like this calif- yeah, this kind instruction leaflet like they put in this ointment, which has all languages. Oh sure. You know, like when you buy yeah, your water cup, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. See, yeah. I would like me. I'm not too pressed about it because our people are also benefiting from being in another country with their own community. Yeah, so I think it's like <laughs> can it's you imagine? Fair trade, can you imagine man. a Ugandan restaurant, let's say in Abu Dhabi or in uh, in New York or whatever, and a white person walks in and they're like, nah. No, no. Uh, I, I get no. what you're saying. Yeah. I also feel like it depends on the culture because Ugandans tend to be very hospitable wherever they are. Yeah, that's the true. restaurant I told you in New York that's Ugandan. Their menu was in Luganda. Luganda. And but they also white guys they eat it. You can even have maybe they have in bracket two brackets. This. Or maybe your waiters uh, can maintain. explain what everything Casa is. That's a solada. That thing was in Italian. Mm. No English aside that I think at the bottom the tip is 5% on the menu. But they <laughs> can explain, right? <laughs> the entire thing. Yeah, so you have to ask and you're like, yes, what no. the hell is this? You just see pizza. Mm. And then the words after, like, bruh, I don't know what this is. So me, okay, to go back to the, to the main point of the thing, I don't see a problem with it. I'm okay with them having their communities, their businesses, as long as it does not result into crime, which is what's happening in the UK. That, that, like, that's why they're doing their protests. As long as there's no crime, I tell you, these communities now doing this, I tell you, they're doing this, I tell you, they're mean to the locals. Mm. I don't see the problem. Because I guess it's just me, bro. I guess it's just me. I, I honestly do not see the problem with it. Let them I do. Let them I think do this them. conversation is it's a much deeper conversation. But mm. like, I, I'd really enjoy having like a full pod on just this topic. And I think in the last, the, pod, the other pod we kind of discussed this. I think we took like sense. an hour on the thing, man. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. um, yeah, man. Do you have any other topics? Nah. Yo. I think we do. Okay, I've been throwing in weird topics, but mm. it's not a topic actually. It's just a thought. Uh, has your Spotify ever got a news dub like the subscription? Yes. Mm-hmm. There is this car voice which comes. Enjoying like our free experience yeah. so far. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like, like I, I, I kind of feel a certain way about that thing. Ah, that can, that can, that can, yeah. I, like free Spotify? Well, you know Spotify can be yeah, free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I it remember, has but like, my thing is on <laughs> auto <laughs> ads, you know? so Yeah. My thing is on auto renew, so like, I've not had that kind of thing in a bit, bro. Yeah, no, it uh, has I feel a certain way. My thing is on fast. Like, I know as fast hits Spotify day. I've taken my day. To me, it's similar to like, you know, when you visit someone's place and you're like, yeah, hey, enjoying my free food, eh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's how I feel, bro. Flex, flex, flex. <laughs> I remember I used to, the girl that I used to talk to had like, she had free Spotify for a while, man. So it always mm. used to like kill the vibe a bit. Yeah, I won't lie. Okay. There's a girl okay. I was also talking to and I told her, man, let me just pay for your thing. She jumped. She stayed with her free hey. Spotify. Big head. Big head, big Because like, I would send her jump, she's like, and thank you, but like, because another way it works is if you search for a song, you bring other songs like that song first, mm. <laughs> then play your song like the fourth time. And also, like, you suppose you can't play a full album or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just play a jam few songs. bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first anyway. spo- apparently, Spotify's stock has dropped from. Um, I've forgotten the exact figures, but just off the head of what I remember, 2021 it was worth like 25 bill. 250 bill, one of the two, mm. and now it's like 12 or 120. I don't know if I'm missing a zero or not, but like it, it has dropped 12. so bad. Bro. Cannot be 12, but also, like mm. things have changed, man. Like, there are more players, mm. yeah. But then they're just saying, like, their freemium they call it freemium, their freemium thing is yeah. just not working because yeah. they tried podcasts, they have not implemented it well, yeah. They tried having movies on Spotify. Yeah. Okay, videos. Wow. I guess that's the best way to. Yeah, they used to have long form videos, man. Didn't work as well. 
So they have lost a bunch of money in trying to like, experiment. And to be fair, I like some of their ideas. We still don't have podcasts here, which is crazy to me. But like, yeah, bro, Spotify is not doing too well. Yeah, but I feel like even a drop from 250 billion to 120 billion, I think you'll be okay. You know what I mean? It's still yeah, 120 billion. Your body won't be cow with it. Uh, yeah, it won't be cow. <laughs> that body is the worst. Your body will not be cow. Anyway, let's take a quick break and yeah. do questions cool. after. Okay, okay, cool. oh. So, Q&A time. These questions are all from Patreon. Yes. Also again. Yeah. So, hmm? did we finish sounds from last time? We did. We did. We did. Yeah, we did. This guy says, so guys, you meet a babe. She's amazing. You're so compatible. She's very supportive. Then you find out she has a kiddo like six months down the road. She hasn't told you because she feels like people immediately view her different because of it. And she was scared since you had a good thing going on. Well, that's one six zero. Six months. Yeah. Six months you told me you have a kid. This baby's kawa, she's supportive, eh, she's everything. Eh, man. Eh, 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 eh. And she didn't want to judge you because guys judge her. Wait. Six months. The is kid is crazy. six months. No. no, you find out six months down the road. Oh, later. Six months. Okay. Ha- yeah. So we don't, the kid might be two. You can only estimate. But six months is a long time. Mm. Okay, okay, how long, how long do you think? A couple of weeks. Maybe, maybe not weeks. Maybe as soon as we start like seriously talking. Bro, like, mm. you're my girl now. I need to know you have a fucking kid. Though. Honestly, yeah. I yeah, need to know before that, man. Like, in fact, when I ask you to be my girl, you have to just be like, bro, there's something I need you to know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? I need to know before that. I need <laughs> to know once the interest pops like so. Mm. Before we go far, because by the time I ask you to be my girl, man, I'm already invested. Bro, I don't understand how we can talk for six months and you having a child has never come up, bro. Like, never. It's Like, what are you doing today? You've never said, I'm chilling with my kid. I'm going here. What are you shopping kid. for? You've been streaking me. You've never streaked me your kid. Oh. I'm even questioning. Like, at that point, I'm questioning. Bro. So, now you ask yourself, has she been good? Are you, are you a good mom? Yeah. <laughs> like, you fuck with your kid, though. Like, have yeah. you been good just so that I can find this out? And now, yeah. like, your character changed? Like, yeah, you can ask yourself questions. And plus, why are you hiding your kiddo from me, bro? Honestly, it's a bit embarrassing, by the way. Having a yeah. kiddo? <laughs> For <laughs> me, I don't know, hiding no, your kiddo no, no, is a deal breaker. I, I'm trying to understand her side. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it was embarrassing to her. She was like, you know, finding this good guy yeah. has no kid or anything. Yeah. And, you're and you kind of know how it's going to, like, it's going to change his... Uh, yeah. Impression of you type. Yeah, thing. you like the way you guys are feeling about uh, like you get uh, feeling about each other, and then you don't want to put in anything which may jeopardize it. Of course, you're not going to hide the kid forever, but maybe you just need to enjoy that kahane moon. Fair, fair. That's a Six fair months. assessment. But the longer you hide it, the worse it gets, bro. That was a reaction. If you hide it for one week, calm. I can be like, yeah. okay, let, maybe let's try Six and like months. let's try and be in her shoes. If you had a kiddo, how long are you waiting before you tell a chick? As soon as we like. Because I know so start many liking, chicks bro. who that's a deal breaker for, bro. Mm. Especially yeah, chicks in our age group. But like, why wait, man? Inevitably, she'll find out. I'm like, let's get this out of the way and I know what the I situation have a kiddo is. First date. Yeah. No, the first date. Okay, yeah, probably. Probably for first me, date. First date would probably f- be first date. I think the safest because, like, the ones who stay mm. will stay. Mm. Yeah, the ones who are going will go. It will probably be first day. I do feel like when you reach this point of asking her to be a girlfriend, that's the time you're supposed to tell her. Uh, that's too far for that's me. Too long. That's too far. That's too long. Who knows what we've done, bro? Yeah, we might have long. another kiddo. <laughs> Actually, I, the reason I really support that first date thing is because, like, you're not going to waste anyone's time. Mm. I know it's going to waste yours. I'll tell you if it's a deal breaker for you. I don't even ask, bro. It's is that cool. a deal? I have a son. Is that a deal breaker for you? Oh. I have a daughter. Is that a deal breaker for you? Let's if yes, man, cow, let's yeah. have a nice dinner and mm. call it, bro. Yeah. Eat chop chop and we boom. Yeah. Honestly, in our age group, I don't think anyone is willing to be <laughs> taking care of ah, your kid. Do, man. Maybe in just. 30s. Actually, ladies in 30s. Those would be cow. If I have a kid, do you think I need you to take care of it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a baby mom as well. <laughs> I have a BM yeah. that's taking care of it. I take care of the kid, though. Mm. I don't need that's not what I need you for, but I need you to know that I have a kid though. Yeah. So like yeah, yeah like it's, it's first date. I can't go beyond that, bro. Yeah. Like I need to know, you need to know. Because second date, now what? Like, bro. The entire situation for me is 
Like why are you hiding a kiddo? Mm. That's it's a bit too big mm. for you to hide. Like you can hide me from your parents for six months, I won't care. Mm. A kiddo. It's actually similar to this thing I listened to last time. It was this chick who was saying she met this one guy. The guy is loaded, but this chick had a chick, a kid. But this guy told the chick that look for any school you want, tell me each and everything this kid wants. But make sure that you don't talk to the guy, you the baby father, or the the kid is for the kid's father. Yeah, you want him to do that yeah, stuff, that was man. That was that. And this chick was like, there. She was confused. What should I do? I don't want to like keep this guy away from his kiddo and yeah, all that. Don't. That's bro. long, bro. Yeah, because that's that some slimy shit. I guess kiddos are right. Take to my his baby, don't take my kiddo. I'd rather die. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather teach that child myself. <laughs> I'd rather homeschool my kid and let someone take him. No, that's mind. long. That's long. Even me, I, uh, no, 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 no. You wouldn't allow. Nice. If, if I had a hey, BM no way, and she told me, yo, I have this new guy is taking care of that kid. But, but the condition is you, you, know, you can't, can't see allow, that child. Bro. That's All the guy wanted, he didn't want the guy calling, uh, you know, I want school fees, I want one. Well, nah. Everything is going to be taken care of. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. We'll go to court. Mm. Because you cannot take, you can't separate me from my child, bro. Legally, you That's cannot. That's my blood, bro. You cannot, bro. <laughs> Let's go fight over it in court, bro. Mm. Yeah. That boy is going to Shock be you. sweet, bro. I want to you. you. What do you so, what advice do we give you? Sir? I don't know, man. I say, if she's as dope as you say she is, forgive her, but like, she needs to tell you why she yeah. hated for so long. Bro. Yeah, I, I agree. Know. Talk That's about be it. a reason why she hated for that long. And she, like, at the end of it, she needs to know that, like, there's no need to hide that kid, oh bro. Unless there is, bro. Unless for you, that's like a deal breaker. Yeah. Mm. In that so we, case, the deal breaker is not even having a kid. The deal breaker is how waiting six months. Are hiding it. Yeah. Like that's the thing. Six months is wrong. Bro. For me, I don't think that hiding it would be a deal breaker for me, bro. I would be touched. And I would be pla. But you know people are like, people are, what's a, what what they say that we are a what? We're a what of em- a product of Ember. <laughs> yeah. People like are products of their experience. I had no idea where the hell you never going, know. Bro. She has been carved yeah. several times because she mm. has a kiddo. Mm. And so it's it's something that she has learned to hide from guys. So you have to kind of like reassure her that bro, like relax. Like you don't need to hide that type of shit from me. You know, I still like you. And it's okay that you have a kiddo. I don't know if you can provide for the kiddo or not, but that's probably <laughs> not even your role at this point. Yeah. Just keep paying the five dollars for Patreon. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. We made a Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> Starting relationship is so sweet. Even the guy said it in the question. Yeah. Saying that we are compatible. Yeah, she understands the issues. Yeah. It's so sweet. Yeah. And I think it's the same story with that chick. Yeah. She's enjoying everything. She doesn't want but to bring anything like, which may create a hiccup in this thing, bro. Yes, yeah, she's so supportive. Yeah. I'll and forgive and move on. Bro. Now you don't support her. Ah, that's tough, bro. I just, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like here's the thing. Let's meet, and you jazz me. Why you waited six months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after that, wait, now we can. Wait, it's the chick who told him. She told or him. he found out. No, no, she told him. She told him she after told him six him. months. Yeah. What is it? She told. She told yeah. him he found out. Yeah, yeah, she told him. After six months. Actually, her telling me would just. Oh, and if you found out, like oh, now there. Yeah. A free pass to my apology, like. To me, accepting her apology is my first. Yeah, like, yeah. Apart from me finding out. And yeah. that's weirder. But I mean, how do you find out? Imagine you go to like a Jameson Jameson mall, bro. bro. Yeah. Still you go to the mall to watch a movie with your buddies. You meet a day with a guy and a kiddo. A kiddo is like mommy. <laughs> <laughs> One zero. You can be, your heart can actually <laughs> drop, bro. I you never sneak drop, food bro. into the cinema. But sneak like a Torero, man. I need the strongest ah, drug. <laughs> Damn. Then, ah. okay, nah. Yeah. yeah we move Next question. Up. Next question. I don't get why guys spend exorbitant amounts on art. Do you guys get it? Hmm. I do. On art? Yeah. Art. One. Art ever since the like 1500s has been a good store of wealth. Yeah, if if it's the art we're talking about, art has always been a good store of wealth, um, because art pieces were treasured from back in the day, and it's kind of like, like wine, the rarer it gets and the older it gets, the more expensive. 
So a lot of people, so, some of them like art, so they'll be like art connoisseurs, but some of them just, it's like buying land. Yeah, especially if it's good art. First chill, like, art your boy drew, art, what, 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 what. But like, if it's good art, I promise you it always appreciates. Always appreciates. I'll say this though. Um, of late digital art, that one, can depreciate, man. Mm. As you be buying NFTs. Can boom. But the demand for art has never decreased. Never. Yeah. So that's why that's why it will always be expensive. But the people who really just like art that want to collect it and mm. keep it. And also, if you think about it, there's so many ways that people have stored art from back in the day and also other types of wealth. Um, first chill art, there are people, do you know there's a guy who has a postage stamp collection that's worth millions, bro? And it's just stamps. Mm. Yeah. So it's like, Every industry has its niche. Think about music. Guys have vinyl tapes, yeah, that you buy for hundreds of thousands of dollars. So it's more like I like this thing and I can store my wealth there. Yeah, mm. you have people who have like golf clubs, yeah, golf guys, and these things are going to be worth millions. So yeah, that's why. Mm. It's more or less like I promise you, it's like land that just never depreciates, as long as it's rare. You find like an actual like Van Gogh piece. Mm. Oh. Hmm. You pay money for it, bro. Yeah. Okay, at one point I lowkey disagree with that. Mm-hmm. You know, fine, art doesn't n- n- I never never like depreciate. It's always appreciating. But I do feel like it also has to have a certain story. Let's say that this piece was painted by an artist who was wounded in a world war, stuff mm-hmm. like that. It's what which gives it value. Definitely. But um for a collector who is in Uganda who is collecting some art made by some Wendy Colin Kido in the ghetto. Okay, maybe when that Wendy Colin guy does something incredible, maybe that could give it value. But some guys just uh, collect it for the aesthetics, the way it looks on the wall. You know how people would Is feel that collecting or buying? That's a question. Okay, there are people who are like just going to go to different places collecting different art pieces mm-hmm. without actually even thinking about it. at one point it's going to be super expensive. When for them, they just like... Yeah. There are people also commission look. artists, to be fair. Like make for me like a series of pieces. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. You, you definitely have a point. But of there are those renowned artists, let's say the Michelangelo, yeah. the Leonardo da those Vinci are the and all that, that. Those are the ones that those are, are the ones rare. which are, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I, I I won't lie to you, I don't know many current artists like who are actively drawing whose prices would fetch the price of like a Renaissance painter. I don't think there are many, bro. I know some of them but I don't think it's still like a renaissance guy. So, the older something is. Mm. Yeah? I mean, you hear about guys collecting wine bottles in their cellars or like whiskey barrels. And that barrel is like $500,000. We'll be like, but like, Jameson is. Yeah, we have <laughs> it. About, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, so, it's like the rarity of the thing. As long as something is rare, supply, demand, economics. Mm. The price will increase. Even the time, yeah. It's like diamond. Yeah. It's like a, a rock. Watch our episode with Daudi. Mm. Mm. It explains everything. Yeah, it really does. Next one, I really like you. I really like you has been consistent mm. every Which, pod. Let me tell you, if you're the patron every sending, I really like pod. you. Slide. Yeah. How to put a face on that liking, bro? I really yeah. like you because we don't even know Slide. who you're talking to. Yeah. yeah. Could yeah. be this guy, could be Casper, could be me, could be Wendy, could be Steven, to be fair. So like, yeah, just... Why are parents always hard on you when you're employed and staying with them even when you're trying your best? Okay. Why are parents hard on you when you're employed and staying with them even when you're trying your best to help out at home and are trying to get a job? Man, I want to run off. You're unemployed? Yeah. I want to run off, but hunger is real. What can man do? <laughs> <laughs> he said, why are parents? Why are parents tough? Why are parents hard on you when you're I am unemployed? trying. Man. But staying with them. <laughs> <laughs> like he wants to leave, mm. but he can't die of hunger. But the hunger is the mob. Uh, I feel that, man. Yeah. But I also feel like, um, one, you need to understand that your, your parents, well, at least most of them, be having your best interest at heart. And uh, many of them feel like you can be doing much more with your youth. I know, that at least for me, that's what at least my parents stress me about. Like, you can be doing much more with your youth. So I think that's why they're hard on you, but it's not hard on you in a negative way. Mm. 
Yeah, maybe you can just sit down and talk to them and explain that man, I'm trying, I'm looking, give them progress. Like per- I feel like parents once you explain to them and show them exactly what you're doing, many of them will listen. Not all of them. <sighs> the is unemployed though. Yeah, but like at least show them you're trying. You get when I, I think that's the thing. Has gone, okay, guys. I'm judging from my personal experience. Yeah. I'm not saying this is this works for everyone. I never have. That's what I'm saying most. Um when I was when I said working remotely, my parents didn't understand. Like you sit on your computer all day. Impossible. So they got me a job. <laughs> and I jam. You know how much it stressed them. Like, what do you mean you're refusing? Until I sat down with them, showed them exactly what I do, explained it, said, man, I promise you this is actual work. Mm. Then they're still asking, like, do you meet the guys? Like, there are those ends, what if after they just block you? Yeah, I was like, I mean, mm. let's wait and see. So at the end of the month, my first salo, I showed them my bank account. And then they were like, okay, sour. I, I feel like it's working. one of those things, yeah, like, I guess you're working. So, again, they have your best interest at heart. Not all of them, though. Yeah, because, I mean, parents are different. I can't just for everyone. But that's what I would say, like, from my own experience, at least let them know what you're doing. And to be fair, even when you're un- unemployed, I, I mean, I have many friends who are unemployed, but, like, you'll tell their parents, I'm unemployed now, then your parents will be like, okay, at least study. And parents would be willing to help. So it's just one of those things. Like, involve them in your search for a job, in your life. Mm. Try to help them understand exactly what you're up to, what you're trying to do, what you're passionate about, things like that. But that's, again, my very limited point of view. You disagreed, so feel free to disagree. No, I didn't disagree. I just Mm. wanted to add on that. Mm. Because you were saying that, okay, in the presence of our parents, they never consider us adults. To them, you're always a kid. My mom can go in public and say, this is my baby. I'm like, oh, relax. I'm even this, I, I want to just show it from my, exa- from my own experience. I used to get this one thing. My mom would call me. And each time I would tell her, she would ask me about work. She's like, hey, how is work? And each time I would tell her that it's a bit tough, she would send me money. And I learned it. So I kind of started feeling a certain sense. Even <laughs> like though shit is, shit is tough, yeah. I'd be like, it's kawa. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. So yeah. Like I'm independent. Why are you still like treating me like I'm still dance. home? Because stuff like that. That dependence. Mm. It also like gives them like a certain level of control, bro. They feel like, mm. bro, I'm still providing for you, so I should be able to like tell you what to do. You can't be yeah. here under my roof doing mm. what you want to do. Nah, nah, yeah, nah. that's fair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's always like that. They always yeah. like want to show that. Yeah, you, it's you think you're grown, but you're yeah. still young. It's tricky. It's tough for parents to like. As if like separate their their identities from yours, bro. They mm. feel like you're my kid though, and I need to make the best decisions for you. And even though now you're an adult, like I've given you the driving wheel and look, you're crashing, bro. Yeah. Like, give me that wheel, man. And let the me, funniest thing is let me <laughs> let me steer your life. Even if in the you right move out, it might not stop. No, it might yeah. not. Yeah. It has to be like a deliberate like action by you, like your thing mm. of Nah, I I have it handled. Like I'm dealing with it how I want to deal with it. So even this guy who's unemployed and at home, like, unfortunately, while you're still so dependent on them, they are going to still have like that much control over you, man. Until you're able to like say, nah, I'm taking care of my own thing, then maybe you know they can get off your back. Yeah, yeah. But but that's just parents, man. I don't know how you're going to do this, but please don't resent them for it, man. It's very easy to. It's very easy to. Yeah. You but can't even resent them, but forgive. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Resent, but forgive. <laughs> next question. Yeah, I, I can't even add to that one. Yeah. Uh, next. <sighs> am I missing anyone? Am I missing yeah. anyone? I am. I am. Mm. Mm. Can't tell you who, but I am. Again. You are homie. You are homie. Mm. You guys will be sending the same things. Give us context, man. <laughs> you guys ever get lonely while in a crowd? Like it's a night out, you're with your friends, but you just feel lonely. Is it just me? Do I need a therapist? Yes. Yes, definitely happens. That's a very adult experience, bro. Especially adult man. Mm. It's very it's not uncommon, bro. Just be there and you're like, man. Okay. Why am I here, man? Like, All the time, <laughs> like, man. Why like, am I here, bro? Like I'm not enjoying this guy's company at all. Mm. Like 
Yeah, it happened. It definitely it happened. happens, bro. It happened, it happened, happened. It, it, it happens with background music, man. I, I put myself like in a reel. Mm. It, it happens all the time. You don't need to see a therapist. I think you just need to understand your situation. Maybe you need to see a therapist. Is so <laughs> like, I feel like the word lonely is such a strong word. Mm. But I know what you mean. You like feel you alone. Really feel, yeah, you really feel like like almost like a fish out of water type thing. But like, why am I here with these guys? For me, and it, it mostly happens to me when I'm not around like my people. Mm. And last year, that, that's the thing I was doing a lot. I just go out. Mm. No asking where guys are. No, that I just.